Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be taking a look and we're going to be doing a review and gameplay of the Tier 7 American Premium Light Cruiser, the San Diego. Yeah. So I did manage to get this thing out of the store. If you guys are wondering how to get this ship, okay, the only way currently to pick this ship up is by coming over to the special tab here, coming to the Liberty Calls uh, bundles here, and you basically have to uh, gamble, okay? You can either gamble for 750 doubloons a pop. These are random bundles. Um, I managed to pull the San Diego out of the 17th bundle. Okay, I pulled the San Diego out of the 17th bundle. I was pretty lucky. Uh, out of the first bundle, I actually did pull the camouflage that is on my San Diego. It looks pretty damn sexy indeed. I really like it. I hope they put more camos like these on other American ships. Um, but uh, hell freaking yes, man. Uh, I will say uh, I played like one game in this ship. It's not that great, but then again, I have not played a whole lot of it. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, is that it is the uh, it is the first non Pan Asian. Okay, it's the first non uh, Pan a or not Pan Asian um, Italian. It's the first non Italian cruiser to get access to SAP. That's right. The San Diego has access to SAP main batteries, which is something that is very unique and uh, something that I'm actually, uh, yeah, kind of looking forward to messing around with here. Now, with all that being said, let's go and take a look at the upgrades and loadout. We've got aiming systems mod 1. We have propulsion mod 2. We've got concealment systems mod 1. And uh, if I was uh, if I was to put another mod on, I would put on main battery mod three for the extra reload. This thing does not really need any extra range, to be honest with you. But yeah, I'm a little broke on credits after uh, all the freaking tier sevens I just got out of freaking crates. So uh, it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute to get that uh, to get these upgrades on. Uh, for the up uh, for the loadout here, we've got armor piercing. We've got semi-armor piercing shells, obviously, which is unique. Once again, it's only on. I think this is the first cru uh, non uh, non Italian cruiser to get access to SAP. So, like I said, very unique here. Torpedoes. Uh, we have 4.5 kilometer range torpedoes, 16,000 maximum dam damage. Basically, guys, these torpedoes are like the oh shit torpedoes. Okay, if somebody comes up on you. Uh, or if you can use an island to potentially uh, push somebody in, uh, yeah, that's the only time you're ever going to be using these torpedoes. They're very short range, so therefore, uh, they're basically uh, torpedoes that you use uh, uh, use to defend yourself against people that are potentially charging you or coming around an island or what have you. Like I said, they're basically oh shit torpedoes, if you get what I mean. Uh, we've got damage control parties, pretty standard. We've got repair parties. They're not the greatest heals in the world, but I guess they do their job just fine. You can swap this out for a defensive AA. If you know there's going to be a carrier in your match, this is not a bad option because the San Diego does have pretty damn good AA. Okay, keep that in mind as well. Going back over to the loadout, this thing does get access to sonar. It's standard American sonar. 3.1 kilometer torpedo detectability with a 4.4 kilometer detection of ships. And this thing gets access to main battery reload boosters. That's right. It's in Atl it's in Atlanta with uh, no radar, except that it gets SAP and it gets two main battery reload boosters. Now, if you were to come over to the commander, if you were to put on fully packed, you would get three main battery reload boosters. However, in the gameplay, I'm, I don't have that on. I've got refill station on, so I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now. I might change my build later down the line. Who knows? Per the stats... We've got, or for the specs rather, <laughs> we've got 27,900 hit points, which if we go over to the Atlanta, uh, the Atlanta has 27,500 hit points. So you get an extra five, uh, or you get an extra 400 hit points, I believe. So, eh, nothing too spectacular there by any means. And the armor is non-existent. You've only got up to 89 millimeters of armor. This thing is a delicate flower. Do not get hit if you can help it. Now for the main batteries, you have 15 127 millimeter 5 inch American dual purpose guns that shoot out too on my build anyway, 18.1 kilometers. I've got a 4.7 second reload and my 180 degree turn time is 7.2 seconds. Yes, American uh, destroyer turn time because literally all the guns on the San Diego are American destroyer guns are rapid firing reloading guns. And uh, well, that's kind of what the Atlantas are all about and especially uh, yeah, American Destroyers. So, this thing has a bunch of guns. 
They're very small caliber. They're only five inch. Uh, they're only five inch, 127 millimeter guns, but you've got a lot of them, and you can potentially dish out a lot of damage. Okay, AP shell maximum damage 2300, and the SAP maximum shell damage is 1800. All right. We already went over the torpedoes, so we're going to go over the AA defense here. You do have some 20 millimeter Orlikans, 54 average damage per second that shoot out to two kilometers. You've got some uh, 40 millimeter Mark One Bofors that shoot out to 3.5 with a 34. Uh, average damage per second and you've got some 40 millimeter bow four mark two guns that shoot out to 3.5 with a 16 average damage per second and the 127 millimeter guns that are on your main batteries those also count as aa flat clouds that shoot out to five kilometers with a 121 maximum or average damage per second rather okay moving on we've got Maneuverability on my build, I've got 33.5 knots maximum speed with a 610 meter turning circle radius and a 7.3 rudder. My concealment is 10.2 kilometers by sea, 6.4 by air, 2 guaranteed in 5.2 while firing in smoke. Obviously, when we look at the armor here, the armor is pretty bad. It's really bad, actually. Any shells that are going to hit you, they're going to pen, okay? Treat it like that. So play it like a, uh, almost like a fat destroyer, okay? Uh, now, if we head on over to my commander, I am running Norman Scott as my commander. I've got Francesco Membelli, and I've got Nikolai Kuznetsov. My base trait is Directed Impact. I've got Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, Fixated, and Refill Station. He is a legendary 4 rank 16 captain. And nonetheless, everybody, I will see you guys over in the gameplay portion of today's video. I hope you all do enjoy it. Okay, so here we are in the San Diego, and uh, yeah, um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the ship's strengths uh, and the ship's weaknesses. I, I will say that this is not one of the best cruisers right off the bat. Um, you could probably save your money on gambling in the random bundles and just buy something more uh, more worth your time. Uh, this cruiser is really not that great, um, it, mainly because, number one, it doesn't have a whole lot of utility. It doesn't have a radar. Um, the heels are pretty mediocre. It's pretty weak. It's got um, it's got really bad armor. Obviously, it's got no HP. Twenty seven thousand hit points for a cruiser at tier uh, seven is pretty piss poor, guys. This is basically in uh, in Atlanta at tier seven with no radar, no HE, and I think that right there is kind of what sets this ship back. Now it does get access to a heel. It does get access to a main battery. Reload booster, however, I would honestly rather swap out my reload booster for a freaking radar. Uh, because mainly, well, I just want a radar. I mean, the, the reload booster is nice, but it really does not provide a whole lot of... Uh, I don't know. Reload boosters are just very situational. There's really no uh, other way of putting it. Uh, now, do I think the ship is bad? No. I, I think the ship is quite good in certain circumstances, um, but, but it, it just doesn't have a whole lot of uh, potential here to be something uh, of a carry ship. It's more of a support cruiser. Um, what you guys want to be doing in this thing is sitting back, not being the center of attention, because obviously, like we talked about, this thing has horrible armor, mainly because, number one, it's in Atlanta, and number two, it's just got no HP. It's only got 27,000 hit points, okay? Basically 28,000 hit points. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, yeah, it, it, since, it's, since it is in Atlanta, it does have a lot of firepower. It's got a whole bunch of 5-inch guns, the rapid reloading, and you can dish out potentially a lot of hate and a lot of, uh, a lot of damage. However, you won't be able to set any fires, well, mainly because you don't have HE. You've got access to AP. Our, our semi-armor piercing, which is something that's pretty unique. Uh, semi-armor piercing is very effective against uh, lightly armored targets like destroyers, like light cruisers, like even some heavy cruisers that have low armor, uh, and even battleships and their superstructure. You can do a lot of damage to this. This semi-armor piercing is very effective uh, at doing damage to lightly armored targets or just light armor in general. Um, however, as you guys can probably see on the enemy Prince Logan, we are getting a few shatters here and there, and that is mainly because, well, those uh, five-inch uh, semi-armor-piercing shells are landing in his belt and stuff like that, and uh, because of that, they are shattering. So that's something to keep in mind: uh, is you're potentially going to get a lot of shatters on high, uh, heavily armored ships like heavy cruisers and like battleships. However, if you manage to catch a destroyer off guard, uh, you can absolutely obliterate them. Uh, mainly because, well, number one, you've got very good reload, and number two, you've got a lot of SAP, so you can literally absolutely obliterate them. Like I just said. Um, 
remember guys uh, sap does not overpen now speaking of overpens i did not get overpenned i got absolutely pounded through my stern there that king george v with uh with 14 inch guns managed to land a couple shells and as you guys just saw he took a quarter almost half of my hp that's a king george guys imagine what an iowa or imagine what a massachusetts or imagine what a bismarck or something like that could do it could really hurt man uh this thing has no armor you're not going to be able to tank any hits so you really need to be very, very, very careful in this ship. You cannot get caught, because if you get caught, you blow up in spectacular fashion, okay? So you really got to be careful. Now, another thing to talk about with this ship is the AA. The AA is pretty good, although there's not really any planes to shoot down in this game. Obviously, there's no planes in here because there's no carrier. So we're not going to be able to display that. But since this ship, the San Diego, is an American-class light cruiser, uh, or um, American, an Atlanta class light cruiser. Okay, it's an Atlanta, not an American class light cruiser. It, it is American, but it's it's not. There's no such thing as an America light cruiser. But anyway, you guys get the point. It's a it's an Atlanta. Okay, and because of that reason alone, this thing does have very good AA. Okay, so if you get an enemy carrier on the enemy team, uh, you can absolutely rip apart planes with this ship, especially if you pop on a DFAA. A pretty good idea is if you have uh, friends, uh, you can have one of your friends pick a tier 7 carrier and uh you can pick this thing plop on that dfaa and go have some fun uh just just keep in mind that you got to play this thing smart you got to be careful you are not a tanky cruiser you're not a carry cruiser you're a support cruiser you got to play this thing very very carefully now we do have uh we do have a main battery reload booster and uh, the thing i don't like about the main battery reload booster is well it's very situational you're, you're not going to find a whole lot of use out of it um i mean it can it can be nice in certain situations but other than that it's just really not that useful it's very situational and i don't find a whole lot of value out of it now uh the sonar the sonar on the san diego is pretty good uh, the sonar, well, it's American, and it's it's not as great as the Germans, but it is pretty average for American sonar. You've got a 4-kilometer detection of ships and a 3-kilometer detection of torpedoes. So the, the sonar is there, um, but other than that, guys, I can't find anything else to say about this ship. It's okay. It dishes out a lot of damage, as you guys can see here, but the problem is, since they're 5-inch guns... Uh, you're going to be getting a lot of shatters, even with semi-armor piercing. You're just not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. you got to depend on getting superstructure hits. you got to depend on hitting people that are lightly armored. Uh, you're just not going to get a whole lot of damage. It, it, it really does suck not to be able to, uh, to use um, semi- or not semi-armor piercing. Uh, it really sucks not to be able to use high explosive. Uh, I would like to swap out my uh, SAP from time to time over to high explosive just so I can set some fires on those ships that I really struggle to do damage against. Um, like I said, it's it's an okay cruiser. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's not like better than Baltimore. It's not better than Wichita. In fact, it's it's just not better than really any of the American Tier 7 cruisers. I think all of them are better than this ship. Uh, the Cleveland is much better at Tier 7. Cleveland is great. The Baltimore is great. The 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 uh, I just can't see why anybody would want to play this ship over any of the other cruisers. It just it just lacks the the uh, the, the the DPM that the Cleveland, for example, lacks. Uh, it just doesn't have HE like the Cleveland does. It it just it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's a support cruiser, and yet it's not even very good at that. So, could I recommend this ship? No, I, I could not recommend this ship. Um, it, it's just one of those ships that is like a collector ship. Um, I got lucky when I was going through the bundles. I was like, I just want this it's just to do a video on, but I got lucky on the 17th bundle. I've seen some people get lucky on like the 6th or, or the 4th or the uh, the ninth bundle. But, like I said, I would not recommend that, uh, recommend this ship. Uh, just save your money. Maybe buy a few bundles, see if you get lucky, but if, if you don't get lucky on the first few, skip this and uh, just save your doubloons. But, it's your money. You can do whatever you want with it, but uh, yeah. I really don't think the ship is that good. Um, will I continue playing it? Yeah, I mean, I'll still play it here and there. Who knows, I might get some good games in it. But uh, other than that, it's just not that great. It's one of the weaker Tier 7 cruisers. Um, and I would not recommend it. But it is a good cruiser. It's got some decent guns. They're not the greatest. I mean, they're pretty mediocre. They're 5-inch American guns. They're floaty, not to mention... Uh, so you can lob over islands with these guns pretty well because, well, it's in Atlanta, so 
But I mean, as you guys can see there, when you get lightly armored targets like that Surrey, for example, we are just chewing him up. Um, that's one thing about this ship here with the SAP is SAP, man, it chews up lightly armored targets. Um, but other than that, you're just going to struggle, man. You don't have armor. You don't have health. And you got to be careful. You got to be picking your fights wisely. You got to be positioning really well here. Because if you don't, you're not going to have a good time. But nonetheless, everybody, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the San Diego. Did you guys get it? Have you guys played it? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Have you guys not gotten it? Do you guys want it? Do you guys not want it? I mean, hey, go in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. I'm seriously interested in hearing what you guys have to say about the San Diego. And uh, that right there is our first kill of the game, like 10 minutes in. Gotta love it. But, um, yeah, we're up to 92,000 damage. We've got 300 main battery hits. I mean, we just... We just haven't done a whole lot in this game, and that is just because the ship does not have a whole lot of potential. It just doesn't. Um, I will say, though, it's a good-looking ship. I mean, look at this thing. The Atlantas are sexy as hell, and especially with, with this camo, man. Oh, it looks fantastic. But just because it looks good, it doesn't mean that it's a good ship. So I think it's all right, but would I say it's great? No, I would not. But nonetheless, guys, I think that's going to be it. There's really nothing else that happens in this game. Uh, make sure to go down there, hit that like button if you guys have stuck in all the way through. Hit that subscribe button as well if you guys have really enjoyed this video. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go down there and do so. And nonetheless, I'm going to bring you guys to the end of the match here, and I will show you guys the match results. Okay, so here we are at the end of the game. Uh, that's a victory, guys. We are level, uh, what is it, 30 in the campaign? Yeah, I've been uh, doing the campaign stuff here. But 92,000 damage. Uh, we are top of the leaderboard, surprisingly, with only 90k damage. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, guys, this thing is a credit earner, too. I forgot to mention, it is a tier 7 premium, so it earns lots of credits. But nonetheless, everybody, I hope you all did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.